happy lasagna day. Today I'm participating in an open collab that Jim from Jim's Kitch Kitchen is hosting. Hashtag lasagna day 2023. Everybody that is in the collab will be making some sort of a lasagna. Today I'll be making fish and chips lasagna. <music> What all goes into the fish and chips lasagna? One box of fish sticks, six large Yukon gold potatoes, fresh lemon for serving. For the dill sauce, one fourth cup butter, one fourth cup flour, four cups milk heated, salt and pepper, one half cup chopped dill, and zest of one lemon. And what all goes into the mushy peas? 12 ounces of fresh English peas. I have a 10 ounce bag of steam fresh sweet peas. That will have to work. One fourth cup of salted butter, two tablespoons of whipping cream, and salt and pepper. So let's begin. Take your fourth a cup of butter, which is four tablespoons, put it in a pan and melt the butter. So the butter has melted. Add your two tablespoons of flour and constantly stir that until it makes a paste and kind of bubbles, but you don't want it to brown. So you wanna do this for about two minutes. Okay, so it is bubbling. It does look like a paste. Add your heated milk. and continue stirring as the sauce thickens and bring it up to a boil. All right, so the milk mixture is boiling. Add your lemon zest and your dill, salt and pepper, and then turn that down to a simmer and let it simmer for two to three minutes more. All right, so it has Simmered for three minutes, shut off the heat, and set it aside. So take your fresh English peas and steam them. And if you have regular peas, just do the regular steaming method. Take your four tablespoons or a fourth of a cup of butter and put it in a small pan and melt it. Be sure and check out all the other channels that are participating in Lasagna Day. Just go to the hashtag lasagna day 2023. Then you can find everybody else's lasagna videos. Also, I want to give a big thank you to Jim from Jim's Kitchen Kitchen. He always knows what day is for what food. I love that. All right, so then add your steamed peas and then start mashing them. All right, so these look pretty well mashed. I have never had mashed peas before, so I don't know how mashed they are supposed to be, but they are looking pretty mashed. Add your salt and pepper. And your two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And then set that aside until we're ready. And then just butter an 8x8 eight eight pan. I actually set it on the hot burner, so it is definitely melted on there, so it's not going to stick. And I'm using a 9x9 nine nine pan instead of an 8x8 eight eight pan, just because it didn't sound like it was going to be able to put everything I need in an 8x8. Eight eight. Reheat your oven to 375. So like I said, I greased the nine by nine pan. These are the potato slices that I made. I only need six large potatoes. Mine were smaller, so I just had the whole bag cut. If I don't need them all, I'll use them for something else. Take your potato slices and you wanna put two layers evenly down on the bottom of the pan.
Then take your dill sauce and put it over the potatoes. Then take another two layers of potatoes. I think I want to put some more of this just because I made a lot. Then take and put two more layers of your potatoes. Then put all your mushy peas on top of that. And the people that have mushy peas, let me know whether I mushed them enough. All right, so in my hurry to get everything done, I forgot to put, I ended up putting the mushy peas down and it was supposed to be fish sticks next. So put a layer of fish sticks down and I did heavy on the sauce and I probably shouldn't have done that either. All right, so then you put another layer of sauce on Put two more layers of your potatoes. Now we put all the mushy peas on. So it's not gonna be an even layer of everything since some peas are gonna be down below on a different layer, but it shouldn't affect the taste too much. Okay, so after the mushy peas, hopefully I have enough dill sauce. We will put two more layers of potatoes. Yeah, I wasn't thinking we had to do that much dill sauce and I really doubled up on that on the bottom there. Word to the wise, read your recipe and read it two or three times so you know that you've got it right. Then add some dill sauce. Then add a layer of fish sticks. And then the last of the dill sauce. So put your fish and chips lasagna in a preheated 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. So I cooked it for 55 minutes might have been a little bit longer but I wanted to make sure that the potatoes are done so let's get this dished up so here is the fish and chips lasagna that I made for hashtag lasagna day 2023 let's see what Dave thinks is that a honey bun no that's fish sticks <laughs> okay fish sticks with dill sauce you can pretend it's a honey bun if you want to. I don't. It just looked like some kind of breadstick thing with glaze on it. <laughs> hmm. It's fish and chips lasagna. Well, that's interesting. I like the fish sticks. It's a little bit hot. And so are you. <laughs> That's pretty good. Are there more fish sticks on the bottom? Yeah, there's two layers of fish sticks. Okay. Good. I liked it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry.
until we meet again.